Hello, this is James Smith with PureOceanTV.com. Today I'm going to be talking with Mike Daniel and Ronnie Smith. They're going to be giving us some information on the reef right off Satellite Beach, Florida, and how we should protect it. Today I'm here with Mike Daniel from the Sebastian Surf Rider chapter. Well, the Army Corps of Engineers has uh, a, a plan for beach renourishment in this area that will adversely affect this reef. Uh, they're planning on covering up uh, three or three acres is what they uh, uh, admit that they will be covering up. Mm -hmm. uh, however, there may be, you know, there might be a little more covered up. Uh, they've gone to great lengths to minimize the effects on the reef, uh, and that's largely due to the efforts of, of, of a lot of people that care about this reef. They would have done a large-scale dredge and fill on it if they, uh, if a lot of people had their way. But uh, I think that the it's important to save everything that's left, not just, uh, you know, the, the three acres is too much to, to lose. Well, you're right, you know, and uh, it's also protected essential fish habitat, you know, yes. and that's yes. it's another. A federally protected, federally protected fish habitat. Yes, it is. And what can people do to uh, get involved, you know, and, and what can they say and who can they present it to, you know? Well, right now, until uh, until January the 30th, we have a, a comment period uh, that they can send emails to the Army Corps of Engineers. I'm sure you guys would be glad to provide that address. Um, but there's a, a larger uh, fight uh, that we can all join, and that is to try to get our elected uh, officials uh, to stop wasting our tax dollars uh, putting dirt on our beaches. Uh, it, is, it is the ultimate uh, waste of government money. Um, in most cases, it's primarily just to protect structures uh, that were built in the wrong place in the first place, uh, too close to the ocean. It's a very high risk environment and maybe those people should assume uh, their own risk rather than looking for a bailout from the government. Today I'm here with Rodney Smith, Executive Director of Anglers for Conservation. I've watched this reef change day in and day out over the many years and I talk to the the old time locals and saying that it's not nearly as large as it used to be and we know it's not as diverse as it once was but still it's just a a little slice of a very unique ecosystem and it's so critical it's part of the Indian River Lagoon system uh, it's part of the estuary it's where the small fish grow up the pompano, the whiting. Take pompano, for instance. Pompano are one of the top commercial fish in the world. In Florida, it's a great sports fish also, not to mention delicious. And the great runs of pompano we have here, and then the baby pompano that grow up in these tide pools right here. Uh, so many other fish, the sharks, the tarpon that we catch. It's just really world-class fishing off of our beaches here because of these reefs. The Army Corps of Engineers uses cost-benefit analysis from these projects. Uh, the way we look at it is the cost of this stuff is in the terms of the dollars that are put onto the beach that wash away with every tide cycle and every minor storm. Uh, the other cost is loss or damage to this beautiful ecosystem out here. And also the cost to the surfing and fishing communities that use this resource and the surfing and fishing industries in this area. Okay. Uh, the benefits of this project uh, wash away as quickly as the sand is pulled off of the beach. That's the only thing, the, the only benefit to this is the protection for these structures and it doesn't last. Once again, this is James Smith with PureOceanTV.com. I'd like to thank Rodney Smith and Mike Daniel for all the information on the reef. Thanks for watching PureOceanTV.com. Like us on Facebook. 